Hi and welcome to this brand new episode of Sikkim Chronicle exclusive interviews. I'm Kalzang Uzo Gurung and today we have Pema Chodan who is the winner of Sun Silk Mega Miss Northeast 2021 and she has also won Glam Miss Sikkim 2019 in the past. So let's begin with the interview. Mm-hmm. Hello Pema. Hi Kalzang. How are you? I'm all good. What about you? I'm good. So before starting into the later parts i want to just start off with like how you got into pageantry first okay first thing i'd like to say like Petin Ongu Namgyal, she's my inspiration. When she won Miss India Supranational, that's when I got interested in pageants. And after she won, I also had the feeling to just go for like pageants. I wanted to try and I just gave it a try in the year 2019. I was like the winner there, so I just thought like I should just push myself more. So I went to the Northeast Platform too, and luckily I won there as well. Okay, so you are saying that it was your first time, right? Mm-hmm. 2019, ma, and you won in your first go. Yeah. And so how did that feel? Okay, to be very honest, all right, in this two, the two titles which I won, no, I never felt that I would win. But then what I always thought about was like, I have to be the better version of myself. So I pushed myself and I tried harder to be the better version. And to be very honest, still, did I can't believe that I won the titles, but still, like, you know, I feel like I worked hard and that's why I am here today with this. Okay, so Pama, like, you said you started it from 2019. Tara did you have, like, a wish to do all this, mm-hmm. ski, it was all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, uh, when like I used to see Priyanka Chopra in movies and all, and when I went to her background, what I saw was like she was Miss World in a year, like when she was 18 years old. So, like I used to be always interested, and I used to be like, yeah, there's Miss India, there's Miss World, but Petin Ongun Namgyal, when she won, no, that was the push for me. I, I can also do it. So, like my interest evolved more, so I just went there and just gave it a try. Okay, now support-wise, eh? mm-hmm. like, are you doing something right now, studies related, what are you pursuing? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm pursuing B.Tech in Civil Engineering in Reva University and I also would like to see this, like I passed out from Tashin Amgil Academy and I feel like whatever I'm doing you know, is just because of what was taught there in school. Yeah, so like how can you do pageantry as well as studying at the same time? Okay. Is it hard? Yeah, like uh, many people have asked me numerous times this questions, but then what I feel is like, you know, time management, like as in if an individual can do something like at the same time when he can like study, he can go for like gym, fitness, everything, when he can read at the same time, like we as human, we have the talents, you know, to multitask and with time management, I feel like it can be done. So I just manage my time and whenever required, I just like do it and that's time to time. Okay, so how was the support from your family members, friends regarding this? Okay, to be very honest, you know, when I felt demotivated, they were the only ones who supported me. And my family, like more than me, you know, they are excited. They jump like more often when I talk about pageants or right. So I'm like sitting, but then they are there to jump around just to see me on that stage. So you can imagine how supportive they are. And regarding my friends, they just call me up Hamisha. Like, like they are there for me throughout. And like, I can't express in words how supportive they are, but then they are really supportive. So let's talk about your family, okay, first. Who all are there in your family? My father, my appa, then am, then my brother, who are so supportive, you know. I told before, they are supportive because like, just because they can see something, okay, they just tell like, even when I say that I can't do it, they are someone who sees that you can do it. So they are really, very supportive and thank you to them. So you think they'll be okay if you like decide to leave your studies and just go after this? No, what I believe is, you know, they, they are fine like when I do this along with my studies. So what I also believe is education is something really very important. Yeah. So we must go along like get going on the same lane, you know, like education wise also we must keep going and like co-curricular also we must keep going because without education I don't think so anything can be done now in this competitive world like scenario that we have. Okay, now talking about pageantry in a bigger perspective, right? Mm-hmm. It's not all about your looks or how you present yourself. It's more about confidence and a person you are, you know. So ge- tell us a bit more about that. Mm-hmm. And uh, tell us like, you've earned a lot mm-hmm. of popularity, you know. With that, like, mm-hmm. you can change mm-hmm. perspectives of people, right? Mm-hmm. So what will you do with that, Kyo? Mm-hmm. Okay, first of all, thank you, Kalzang, because this is something which people need to know, right? Many people believe that pageant is all about outer appearance, having a beautiful face, body, but then it's nothing about that. It's more about the inner beauty. 
what you need to know is you know passion is all about what you want to do for the people not only for yourself and seeing everyone all the pageant winners doing something I also thought like I should have something you know I have that thing but then I al always wanted to ask myself you know like what I want to do and regarding my advocacy which I would like to talk about the thing is I am very connected to the people like from children's home or old age home all right and what I believe is right now as I said earlier education is something important so for the unprivileged students or the children I am planning to do something and like there's a plan which I can't discuss right now because I uh -huh. want to do it and just let people know that time yeah. but that is the thing my advocacy to work with the underprivileged students or like children who are not like into studies you know because right now during this time of like well, like where there's so much competition I believe like we as the future you know we must just think about all the children because they are the future and I am planning to work on that okay so let's talk more on pageantry again. Tapale your Sun Silk Mega Miss Northeast Ma like did you have people that helped you throughout the process? No, like actually it was just me who motivated myself all right. I yeah. told like my friends and families they were there but then the main hero was only me I feel because like whenever we are in danger no or whenever we want to do something all we can do is help ourselves. So it was just I'll say like I motivated myself along with my friends okay. and my family. Okay. Competition wise, Tarko mm -hmm. Goreko Goreko. How was it very different? Yeah, it was totally different because uh, I feel like state level also there are so many girls, okay, they are really very pretty, beautiful, they can do whatever, like they are very you know like unique but then in northeast level no they were just outstanding i would say because like they were all prepared it was not like they were there for the first time they had won state levels also there were many people who had the title of state like levels and all that so like it was really different and i felt like it was difficult okay but then the only thing that i focused on was for myself like i focused on myself and yeah that was the thing like competition was tough compared to the state level so what will you tell the people here about mm -hmm. state level pageants, especially in Sikkim we have a lot of pageants mm -hmm. right so how can they make it more competitive or more better okay okay firstly I'd like to say like whenever you you are going for the pageant you need to look at the background of it all right so you need to see what they are going to provide and everything then what I would also like to say is like pageant na like you like I'm just saying like it's not about one day practice you need to work hard you need to be updated about all the things that's happening you need to like see how you are going to do everything and think about how you are going to present yourself so you need to work on yourself and I just would like to say that you know having a brief study about what you are going to do before you go for the exams and all that it's better right so you can just go through various videos that are available in YouTube and also follow the people who have won like Harna Sandhu who recently one Miss Universe you can just follow them and you can get to learn so many things so that is something which can help you and yeah there you will go and you'll just succeed if you really want it so for newbies for newbies you know they have no idea eh? they have no idea about pageantry but then they want to pursue it not to pursue it also but they want to try it out eh? mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. so will you suggest them to just like show up and be themselves mm -hmm. or would you suggest them to like take some time understand the process and then go okay I would suggest them to go participate because pageant pay like the we are not only taught about pageantry okay we are taught about so many things which will help us throughout our lifetime so I advise you all to go and we never know what might just happen okay and many people of you know I guess you guys are waiting for the right time but then I believe there is no right time all right all you have to do is just push yourself go and give it a try because you may never know you might be the next winner or the winner for that particular platform okay so last question uh, your welcoming thing mm -hmm. it was really huge you know Anta so how did you feel okay to be very honest you know my dad and my mom they were planning and they were like yeah we must do a homecoming but then at the end what happened was like since my villages like my village people now nah, they came to know that I like talked about civic in the pageant like that platform so they wanted to welcome me in a grand way so in the end moment they all came and it was so very grand like I'm so very overwhelmed so I can't even thank like I could not even thank each one of them but then if you all are watching it thank you so much it's because of your blessings that I'm here today with this crown and this title so thank you to winning this latest pageant right do you want to continue on this line only 
Yeah, the thing or is. Or will it just be a side mm-hmm. thing now? Like, this is my dream, so I am planning to continue further, but then we never know because future is like, we don't know, right? So I'm just planning, but then I'll just give it a try. In the okay, nationals. so you'll still continue with mm-hmm. your studies and everything? Yeah. Okay. So, other than that, eh, like, how was your feeling? Like, first month, of a, you were a beginner here mm-hmm. when you did Glam Miss Sikkim. And now, mega northeast, ma, you still had some experience and you knew what was going on. Mm-hmm. Eh, mm-hmm. So, what was the difference between the two? Kyo? To be very honest, in, like, when I was in the state competition, I felt like we were groomed and everything was happening. Mm-hmm. And in northeast platform, we were like groomed in a way where we did not even know that we were groomed, you know? Like, it was everything like we had in our daily basis and we were groomed still so i guess that was the difference and the reach to the people that we have amongst northeast and like in the state i guess that's the difference okay. what where exactly did this happen guwahati guwahati mm-hmm. so over there like it was basically here the locals were coming mm-hmm. you're competing against the locals right it was a wider range of people there right now so how did that feel okay to be very honest i won't lie and on the first day I cried in the yeah. night time and what happened was like I felt so demotivated just because I saw all the 49 cutters in there yeah. and uh, but then what I thought you know it was not me I took Sikkim along with me and that was the thing that motivated me so firstly I was a bit nervous and I got a bit demotivated but then I was like let's just give the best like I can do so I just gave my best and thankfully I won hmm. okay so uh, there were more people right from mm-hmm. Sikkim six Six, six number, people. yeah, six number. Okay, people. so uh, did you know them personally or? No, you got to but know then them uh, the thing is, uh, yeah, I'm very talkative, so like I could just like whenever they were posting the photos, no, I came to know who all were, were from Sikkim, so I just talked with them, and before I met them, I just knew them, like just virtually okay, okay, I texted okay, okay. them. So now enough about pageantry. Mm-hmm. I guess the viewers would like to know, right, like about your likes, your hobbies, okay. and what you do, especially I like COVID co times, right now. So what have you been doing? Okay, to be very honest, I'll just start off with this thing, okay? I used to diet a lot back then when it was 2016-17, okay? And I did not used to work out and all that, but then this COVID taught me to just go into fitness. Not like I'm going for gym and vagera, but I just do like workouts during home. That is what COVID taught me. And that is one of my hobbies now, to work out. Then after that, my hobby, which I love the most, is to make YouTube videos. I just make that as a memory. And and that is something which makes me happy, you know, throughout. Whenever I look back to videos which I made a year ago, that's something which makes me happy. So those are my hobbies. Okay, now YouTube. You said YouTube. So you have a channel. Yeah. So what do you do in that? Is it daily vlogs or something like that? Okay, like, actually it depends, okay. Whenever I have that time, I just do daily vlogs. Or if not, then I just post weekly, like at least once in a week. And the YouTube channel can name, you know, it's my name on Ipema Chodan Bhutia. Okay, so now uh, tell us, like, give a message to the viewers in San Diego. Mm-hmm. To many aspiring, there are people aspiring to be where you are right now, right now. And tell us a bit about your future plans, what okay. you've thought. Okay, okay. Firstly, I'd like to say, like, I've just considered about this COVID situation because, like, Omicron is coming and it's, like, actually hampering most of the people. So, firstly, I'd like to say that. I just want to see people to stay positive. No matter what happens, you know, everything will be fine. And regarding this pageantry, I just want to let each and every one of you to believe in yourself because you know yourself better. And if you have a plan to do something, you know, just focus on that. Go step by step and you will be there. So, yeah, that's it, what I want to say. Thank you, Pema. Okay, thank you. It was really nice having you yeah, for the same, interview. Same, same. Thank you so much. Thank you. And for more exclusive interviews, please check out Sikkim Chronicle and follow it on Facebook and also subscribe on YouTube. Thank you.